Done. And I've been journaling again, by the way. And look, I don't want to brag. Okay, I'm not here to brag. This is a fountain pen. Okay? Am I a little bit royalty? I'm a little bit royalty. Fountain pen. Here's a little something I'm going to tell you. And I'm not a professional athlete, never have been, never want to be. Professional athletes, and I would say just elite athletes in general, focus very much on this part of their training. Ready? Recovery. They focus on recovery. And here's why, for the most part. Because if you recover from a training well, if the time off that you take after a tough training, your body is efficient at rebuilding and getting strengthened, then when you go back to train again, you're in a good place to push potentially a little bit harder and make gains in whatever sport you're in. It's about recovery. If you can figure out how to recover quickly and swiftly and efficiently, you're going to do well as an athlete. But here's the thing. Same thing goes for the work that I do too, which is recovery time from this kind of work. In other words, taking breaks. Now, the reason why this video is called uh, something like, and I have an iron down the, I haven't it's totally settled. The reason why the title of this video is this is really hard for me is because I am in a sense in a recovery period right now, post small steppers relaunch and all that kind of huge amount of work, getting my book cover done, getting the book to a draft that I have now turned it to the publishers for editing and things like that. I'm kind of in a recovery place and it's very hard for me personally to take that time off to take that break. I feel like I should be, you know, you get in that mode of doing stuff for an extended period of time. And when that stops, sometimes it's hard to just stop. And yet it's totally essential in the equation of success, just like for an athlete, the ability to stop and rest efficiently and effectively is supremely important. But the thing is, is you have to understand this, is recovery time is best when you have something to recover from. In the modern world, our recovery time is often on top of not really that hard of work. If we're engaged with our minds enough, then in a sense, we earn that break. And when we have earned that break, first of all, it feels really freaking good to take time off after you've busted your ass. And second of all, when you've earned that break, it's important to, to take it because then you can utilize the purpose of the break, which is to restore and rejuvenate yourself so that you're ready again to get back in. If you don't do that well, if you don't stop well, then you won't be ready to get back in and eventually you're leading to burnout. And that's what we're seeing in the modern world is more, more people are sort of in a state of overwhelm and in a state of, of close to or fully in burnout to the point where their productivity and everything else that they want to do, even time with family, is compromised and they're not living lives that they want to be living. Last couple of weekends, I've had, you know, a fair amount of time off, which isn't typical for me. And I found myself sort of like, should I be doing, you know, should I be doing something kind of thing? And I'm not generally like a type A person. Like I like to just sit on a chair and read a book, but you do get in the routine after you're being busy for such a long period of time to that you just feel like it's missing when it's not there and your instinct, or at least my instinct is like, I should be doing something. I am productive because I'm a small stepper and I apply my own approach to my own life and that allows me to be efficient in shorter chunks of time. Of course, that's true. And so I do get a fair amount done, but I do value time off and I do work and struggle to make sure that when I take that time off, it's, it's a good time off. It's a quality time off just as much as I want to make the work as quality as possible too. So if I'm, you know, working on my book or, doing a podcast or making this video, I want to be as focused and productive and, and uh, effective 
as I can. So it's two mindsets. Unfortunately, what can happen and what I coach people to be aware of is when they have technical time off, they're not using it well. So let me just demonstrate a difference of, of a sort of good time off and not good time off. Okay, here we go. This is an example of maybe good time off. This is called a book. That's good time off. That's relaxing. It's good mental nutrition. It's sort of bringing stuff good into your head. This is not relaxing time off. Just, just FYI. I, if, if I did this video, I would do it this way and you should probably have done it this way. And I'm an authority because there's a comment section and I can, should be able to leave that in there even though I don't do videos myself. But I'm just saying if I, hypothetically, if I did your video, I would do it way better, but I don't do my own videos. I'm just saying hypothetically, if I did, I would. <coughs> What I am saying is there is an art of doing nothing. It isn't just a matter of going, I have free time. I'm just going to do whatever I want in that free time. There's, a, there's as much attention necessary to how you spend your too free time as there is attention necessary to how you spend your productivity time. Both are equally important. And in fact, as I said in the beginning, as, as, as athletes focus a lot on recovery, so should we. But here's the, th there's the thing about this kind of recovery here is that free time isn't free. Free time is not actually free. It, you got to pay for it. Meaning to really experience how good it feels to take time off means you've got to bust your ass when it's time on. Work your ass off and then you will know, oh, that feels so good. I earned this break. And then apply enough attention to say, okay, now that I've earned this break, Am I really going to take the break that's due to me because I made it due to me? Am I going to take that break efficiently so that later when I'm ready and want to get back in the game, I feel refreshed enough to do that?